164.9 weigh in this morning. Best time to take creatine? It doesn't even matter. Whenever you can take it, guys. It has no acute effect. It's almost like filling up your gas tank. Okay. You keep it. You can fill it up whenever you want, right? You can fill it up at halfway. You can fill it up at three quarters. You can fill it up at the beginning. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. As long as there's gas in the car, you're good, right? Creatine, probably a horrible analogy right there, but it's kind of the same way. It doesn't really matter when you fill it up. Um, it just matters that you do before you run out, so to speak. So kind of like in the day, think of it like that. You just fill it up any time in the day. Five grams, that's it. The cheap shit, don't matter. Get the cheap shit, it works. I'm gonna hydrate, okay? Breakfast is well underway. So here you go, guys. You're basically looking at my whole meal. Pineapple, Greek yogurt, um, about 11 servings of egg uh, substitute. You have strawberries, you have uh, two different kinds of fiber one cereals. And you're looking at a total macros of our five, 128 carb, 80 protein. So you can see this is about uh, a third of my carbs right here. And then after my workout, you know, I have my Chipotle burrito. It turns out to be like 22.5, 1, 23, uh, 55. And that's about another third of my carbs. And then um, throughout the rest of the day, I'll have the rest of my carbs. Whatever. You can also see here that by the end of breakfast, I've already consumed about two servings of fruit. I've already had quite a bit of fiber. Let's take a look. 28, or sorry, 26 grams of fiber by the time I finish my breakfast. And uh, later on in the day, I fucking have like 100 grams of spinach. I don't know, is that one or two grams, or one or two servings of, of vegetable? Probably close to two. So, um, yeah. Micros and fiber, baby. Breakfast of the gods while watching Oz. Beautiful fucking day today. Oof, it's a great day. I think it's uh, the 30th of May. What is it? Come on, tell me. Is it the 30th of May? It's the 30th of May, guys. Uh, May only has one more day. One more day and it's June. And uh, when June comes, that means I'm like one week out from my first uh, show of the season. So, I just got the uh, news from my peak week. Uh, which I plan on making a video about since it's kind of important information and a lot of people want to know it real time and not have to wait 3,000 years to see this video. So I'm most likely going to make a video telling you guys my peak week and whatnot today and how I plan on going about that. Um, really good day. I'm, I'm bringing my uh, Chegg books, Chegg.com is where you can rent uh, textbooks for school. So I'm turning in my books uh, so that I can. Uh, what the fuck is this guy doing? Are you an idiot? Serious? Sorry about that. This guy was chilling like halfway in a different lane. Like a dumbass. So. <sighs> nice blinker, bro. What's wrong? This is what happens when you're when you're uh, contest prep and you notice how stupid people drive. People turn without blinkers and shit. So, yeah, I'm turning back my Chegg textbooks. I barely even read through them since I uh, ended the uh, school season pretty much in the beginning of it, so I didn't even have a chance to read through it. But, um, it's the way that is. Um,
Yeah, yeah, that's good. Looking shredded. Again, all three dimensions on film. Spend time every night trying to kill these fucking headphones. Yeah. So he got the new, or he got the Canova headphones, yeah. the ones that I have, and uh, he's still running off the original battery. How long has it been? It's been like a week and a half now. Fuck! And how I many spend, workouts is that? Like six, I, seven workouts? Yeah, I spend like two, two hours a day at least listening to them. All right, I guess that's like a pretty good testimonial for them. Yeah. You know, they it's lasted like fucking twelve hours, yeah. <laughs> over twelve hours, and it's still running strong, stronger than my dick. Pretty badass. So we just had our D-Load workout, guys. Went pretty well. Um, took some pics in the half natty lighting. Body's feeling good still. Um, although at nighttime, it feels like it's kind of getting uh, lethargic. Especially after I run out of my food or my macros, and then two hours after I run out of my macros, I feel kind of uh, kind of uh, energyless. So uh, it's expected, but um, yeah, that's what happens when you're cutting. So. Other than that, everything's still looking pretty good. Taking this guy home, he needs to get a car. Give him a car, seriously. <laughs> All right. All right, got my bag of Chipotle. I'm gonna go home and watch um, the newest episode of Hannibal, and I'm telling you guys, today I'm gonna be so productive. I want to, my goal for, my goal today, I wanna get 100% caught up with my Matt versus videos. So this might take me like eight hours. It might take me from now until midnight. I really don't give a shit. Because my goal today, I, I want to be caught up. I want to be in the now when it comes to my Matt versus videos so that I can actually start uploading some new shit. Okay? Like, I, I hate it just as bad as you guys do. The fact that, you know, I'm uploading some old ass videos. So, I'm going to try to either set it so like there's one or two uploading every day. And, uh, you know, I'm going to get this bad boy. I'm going to get this stuff good. I'm going to get it good. I'm going to write what's wrong. So, do this for you guys. I need to do this for me and you. Uh, so we can do this. All right, my goal for today. Plus, I got a whole lot of other shit. Whole lots of shit. We're having a meeting tomorrow. Um, another, except this one's gonna be online. Um, every you know two weeks or so, we're meeting up with our web designers, make sure that they're on track, and they keep us on track, making sure that we're supplying the content that has to go up. So we're going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. 
until this website's up and running. And when it's up and running, you guys are gonna know. You guys are gonna be on it. Can't wait. It's gonna be exciting. So, ah! let's do it. Why would they leave you home alone, huh, baby girls? Why would they leave you home alone, huh? Why would they leave you? Why would they leave you home alone? What? You what? What is it? Okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, you like that? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, why would they leave you? Yeah, you good girl, you. You good girl, baby. You good girl. Good girl. Yeah. What? What? What is it? Are you waiting for mom and dad to get home? You're waiting patiently for mom and dad to get home, aren't you? <laughs> Aren't you waiting? What? Oh, poor cook is sad. Poor cook is sad. Yeah, you waiting? You just waiting patiently? Yeah, you just waiting? Oh. Big shout out to Chipotle. Show me love. Eat me! May 30th, one and a half weeks out, almost one week out, watching Hannibal, and for the record, eating Chipotle. Hell yeah. That feel when your burrito is almost done. So here's a cool little salad, just like 190 grams of strawberries, and like yesterday, spinach and balsamic vinegar. Last meal of the day, um, about eight servings of uh, egg beaters, two eggs, like uh, close to 400 grams of sweet potato and uh, about two servings of green beans. So that's my last meal of the day. Gonna get this in. In about an hour or two, I'm gonna go and do my high intensity interval cardio and probably tan. So um, expect me to look better and better this week just from the tanning alone. It really, really helps. Like I know for sure that I'm leaner and more cut than a couple weeks ago. Um, when I, before I went to the UK, when I was extremely, extremely uh, tanned from the sun, from the bed tanning. And um, I went to the UK and I did my uh, spray tanning, but I wasn't getting an, a real true tan while I was over there. So I come back and I'm white and pasty. And uh, I looked basically better um, before I went to the UK. And I'm leaner right now. So honestly, the tanning makes a huge difference. Um, so that's why I'm going to be getting a little bit of tanned. For the next uh, couple of weeks. Bring that tanning back up two times a week and then back at maintenance, which is usually one time a week to maintain. So I'm going to hit like two or three times this week, uh, maybe two times next week, and I'll be have that natural tan back all over again. Not natural, really. Half night since I'm bed tanning. See, I don't always eat ice cream, but um, yeah. Sweet potato, green beans, all that good shit. Variety, you know. This is kind of just what I wanted to eat today. Um, it, it's a really good feeling eating what you want to eat when you want to eat it. You know, kind of doing what you want. Um, like honestly, I was not in the mood to eat any sort of ice cream or that kind of thing tonight. So it's empowering just doing what you want to do. Time for H I I T. Headed to the gym. Gonna do my tanning. Do the uh, ten rounds of cardio. Finish with four hundred calories. And uh, head back home. It's about 10 p.m. like I said. Um, gonna go do it. Let's do it, guys. Something that made me feel pretty good was my mom was starting to get interested in my shows. Um, so you know, she's like, so Matthew, you gonna win? I'm like, I'll see what happens. She's like, let's win. Let's do it. And I was like, damn. Thanks, Mom. So It's cool that she's excited to see uh, what happens. Um, because the past years, it was just like, yeah. But uh, now I think she sees how uh, you know, how I love doing this and um, I don't know how, how things are going. So she's she's really supportive. Same with my dad too. And hopefully my dad actually goes to these damn shows. I think it would, uh, it, would, it would be really cool to see him, you know, in the crowd. So hopefully I'll get him to come out to uh, one of the shows this year since uh, he's never been to one ever. So we'll see what happens. Equip me, little bitch! Oh, his cake!